Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Now, as we all know, Pokemon Legends Arceus is the brand new game coming out in 2022. Something else that we know though is that it is completely different to any Pokemon game we have ever seen before. Set 500 or whatever years in the past, this game is going to completely break the barriers of what a mainline Pokemon game is. But of course, because it is set so far in the past, a lot of Pokemon won't have been invented yet that were of course artificially created. So in today's video we're going to be going over some Pokemon that are definitely not going to be in Pokemon Legends Arceus. If you guys are excited for the video make sure to drop a like down below. Let's hit 550 likes. Leave a comment what Pokemon do you think will not be in Legends Arceus and subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. With all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and take a look at what Pokemon will be cut from the 2022 game. So, starting things off, obviously previously went over this not too long ago in the Pokemon Legends Arceus Cut Features video. If you haven't seen that, make sure to go check it out. But there are a bunch more Pokemon that will not be in Legends Arceus because they would have been artificially created. So basically, in the Pokemon world, a great deal of advanced technology is shown to be used by humans. I mean, they're able to create Pokemon out of nothing, for Christ's sake. So among this technology is the ability to create artificial Pokemon. Pokemon that have not emerged naturally but have been created either through experiments or indirect means. These Pokemon, other than being artificially created, are no different from natural Pokemon. They can still breed, they can evolve, they can be found in the wild, they can be captured, trained, you name it. They are basically your normal everyday Pokemon. They were just created a little bit differently. So as we all know, because Legends Arceus was set in the past before all of this incredible technology was created, it would just make sense that they wouldn't exist yet because they wouldn't have been created. The people that created these Pokemon wouldn't have been born yet and so on and so on. So what Pokemon would not be in Legends Arceus. Well, the first two are going to be Voltorb and Electrode. So Voltorb and Electrode first appeared according to several Pokedex entries at the company where the modern Pokeballs were being developed. It is rumored that it was first created when a Pokeball was exposed to a powerful pulse of energy. Hence why they look exactly the same as a Pokeball. Some people may say it's a lazy design. Some people may say it's because of this. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Voltorb and Electrode are not going to be in Pokemon Legends Arceus. And this is simply because the modern Pokeball has not been invented yet. In the new game, it is clearly shown that we are going to be using wooden Pokeballs, which obviously isn't the modern one. So they would not have been created in that secret lab or anything like that. So Voltorb and Electrode will definitely 100% not be in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Coming up next is another Pokemon that is definitely not going to be in Pokemon Legends Arceus is the one that everybody's been talking about the most and is Porygon. Porygon 2 and Porygon Z. This evolutionary line is obviously not going to be in Pokemon Legends Arceus because it is created from the technology that just simply would not have existed when this game takes place. So Porygon was actually the first Pokemon deliberately created using modern technology and as a result of an experiment by the Cinnabar Lab in Kanto, Silvco possessed a report on the Pokemon calling it the first virtual reality Pokemon. Because it's made up entirely of computer data, it is able to exist in cyberspace. Now Porygon was actually created to work in space, but it doesn't get this ability until it evolves, which is just really, really weird. But at the same time, you're not going to be trying to go into space when it's set so many years in the past. Now Porygon also possesses two evolutions, both possible through, again, artificial upgrades. Porygon 2 evolves from Porygon when it is traded holding an upgrade. Porygon 2 then evolves into Porygon Z when traded holding a dubious disc. It is a modification of Porygon 2 designed for travel between different dimensions. So if for whatever reason Porygon somehow makes it into Pokemon Legends Arceus, even though it would make literally no sense, it is very safe to assume that Porygon 2 and Porygon Z will not be in the game because these things created to a allow this Pokemon to evolve again will not have been invented yet. I don't think any of the evolution line will be in the games regardless, but Porygon 2 and Z 
definitely 100% will not be in. Porygon probably won't be either. Unless Pokemon just absolutely do not care about the timeline and just go whatever direction they want when creating this game. But at the end of the day, these Pokemon probably will not be in Legends Arceus. Coming up next is another Pokemon that will not be in Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is going to be quite interesting, is Mewtwo. Now, Mewtwo is usually in every single Pokemon game, so for it to not be in this one is quite a bit of a surprise. Now, Mewtwo is a powerful legendary Pokemon, the result of gene splicing experiments using the DNA of the mythical Pokemon Mew. According to the logs found in Pokemon Mansion in Kanto, Mew gave birth to Mewtwo after an embryo had been developed. Now, obviously, this just will not have have occurred yet in Pokemon Legends Arceus because the technology will just not exist to be able to create this embryo and a completely new life form from a strand of DNA. So even though Mewtwo is usually in every single Pokemon game, this could be one of the first ones that it just simply cannot be in. There could obviously be other forms of these Pokemon in the games. I don't know why there would be because they wouldn't have been created yet and it wouldn't make any sense, but it is Pokemon. Never say never. We don't know how big the Pokedex is going to be in this game because we're literally creating the first one. So it's going to be an interesting topic of discussion, that's for sure. But Mewtwo is definitely going to be one of the Pokemon that will not be in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Coming up next is another Pokemon that will not be in Pokemon Legends Arceus is the Pokemon Cast Form. Now, Cast Form was created by scientists at the Weather Institute in Hoenn to help predict the weather. Because of this, it has the ability to change its form and type with the weather. Again, I'm probably sounding like a broken record here, but they will just not have the technology to create the Weather Institute, which will then create Cast Form in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Also, to say that the Hoenn Weather Institute obviously isn't even in Sinnoh, so yeah, it, it makes zero sense for this Pokemon to also be in Legends Arceus. Another Pokemon that is definitely not going to be in the game is Genesect. Now, Genesect is a mythical Pokemon, but was a different Pokemon many years ago. However, in Unova, Team Plasma reconstructed it from a fossil with the goal to create the most powerful Pokemon ever. N cancelled the project due to his belief that a Pokemon modified by science would lose his pureness. Now, of course, a lot of people do believe that Genesect was originally a Kabutops. It does look like it was. You know, they've got a lot of characteristics that are the same, etc, etc. But at the end of the day, they won't have all the technology to be able to adapt this fossil into what became a Genesect. So, yeah, Genesect, as well as the other fossil Pokemon, probably will not be in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Two more Pokemon that definitely will not be in Pokemon Legends Arceus are Type Null and Silvalli. Now, Type Null was created by the Aether Foundation as part of its Beast Killer project, an initiative to create a Pokemon optimized for battling the Ultra Beasts by using cell cultures from all known types of Pokemon and combining their greatest strengths. But carrying on from this, Silvalli is an evolution of Type Null, but at the same time, the Aether Foundation will not exist in Pokemon Legends Arceus. The people that made Type Null will not exist, the technology will not exist. Type Null and Silvalli are not going to be in Pokemon Legends Arceus if the timeline is going to be kind of looked at when they're creating this game. Finishing things off for today's video though, another group of Pokemon that I don't believe are going to be in Pokemon Legends Arceus are all of the Alolan and the Galarian forms. Now I don't believe these are going to be in the next Pokemon game just simply because they would not have evolved yet or adapted to their new surroundings. Let's take Ponyta for example. It may have moved to Galar but it may just be in the process of evolving into its new fairy typing. It might like be a weird combination of fire and fairy but it would just not be completely evolved yet. Obviously evolution just takes millions and millions of years. We don't know when Pokemon Legends Arceus is set but I think it's safe to assume that these Pokemon are not going to be in the game. As well as the fact that it is set in Sinnoh and obviously these Pokemon adapted to their surroundings in completely different regions. There may be Pokemon that have Sinnoh forms that have adapted and then they will adapt again or whatever as Sinnoh goes through the years. But at the time that Pokemon Legends Arceus comes out, I don't think we're going to be seeing any of those other forms of Pokemon. That does wrap up today's video though. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Let's try and hit 550 likes. It really, really does help out. Make sure to leave a comment as well with any other Pokemon that you do not believe are going to be in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Like I say, all the ones from today's video were just artificially created by humans with technology advancements, everything like that, that just simply would not make sense to be in a 
game set 500 years in the past or however long it's going to be set in the past make sure to subscribe as well if you're brand new we do daily pokemon content on this channel that's everything from me though have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace